Hey everybody, want to talk to you about fasting for a few minutes. If you're doing the Daniel fast or the wholehearted fast with us, you are a few days into it, maybe day five or six by the time you're watching this. So you're probably walking around like a bear with a sore head. You are miserable, a little bit grumpy. Maybe you need to put yourself in a Jesus timeout. I had to do that a couple of days ago. I was just, I was, I didn't take it out on anybody, but I wasn't feeling my normal chirpy cheery self. So I just put myself to bed early. Then I wake up tomorrow. A couple of people at the group last night were saying how early they've been going to bed. So whatever you need to do to get through that side of things, just do it. It's fine. It's not a competition. It's not about how, how many hours you pray. It's about doing what John said. I must decrease. He must inc- increase. And it's that twofold work that is so powerful when you're fasting. There's less of you and there's more of him. And of course, the less space you give to yourself and the screens and all the things you'd normally eat and watch and conversations you'd have and places you'd go, etc. The more space you have to give that time to God if you choose to. It's amazing how you can fill your time with other things, even when you're fasting. But I want to encourage you not to. You set aside three weeks, 21 days to say, God, I want to seek your face. I want to spend time with you and I want to grow and I want to be wholehearted. I've got to shake off the lethargy and have heartedness and get my spiritual edge back. And that happens through sacrifice. Iron sharpens iron. Sometimes you have to hit against something hard in your life to develop that edge back. And fasting is hard. Getting up early is hard. And what I always do when I've got a craving for something other than, in this case, beans and lentils and nuts and fruit, and I want to have a Big Mac, I always say to myself out loud or to God, I say, Lord, I want this Big Mac, but I want you more. Or if I'm staying up late to pray or getting up early to pray, I will say out loud, God, I want my pillow, but I want you more. And I'm reminding myself that although there's things I do want and desires I do have, which aren't in and of themselves bad, I just want God more. And this is a way that you can tangibly tangibly teach your own self and your own flesh and bring it into subjection and teach yourself that God comes first. He never asks to be the only thing in your life. He just asks to be the first thing. So I want to encourage you in your faith. You're doing well. You've made it this far. Stay away from the coffee shop. Stay away from the drive throughs Keep the screens off as much as you possibly can. And Bury your head in the word of God. Spend time in the presence of God and you will experience so much and grow so much in three weeks. At the end of this, you'll hardly recognize yourself. So keep going, keep pressing in, keep seeking the face of God. He said, you will seek me and find me when you search for me with your whole heart. God bless you. Have a great week and happy fasting.